forget now because they're doing something. And, um, I'm just still bad that I wasn't able to do work, but you know, we just did this behind the scenes. You can like give money, yeah. You know, if that's all you can do, you give money to support them. Speaking of which, speaking of money, um, we, the Rock County Progressives, I can have everyone's attention. Um, the support, not trying to get money, you know? Um, the Rock County Progressives are an all voluntary organization. You know, we do it by sweat and we like to give back. Like, you know, we don't expect to make money on this. This comes out of money you've given us, and this is part of us all celebrating. If you want to see more stuff like this, and you know, we do forums once a month, the second month, a uh, second Wednesday of each month. And, you know, if you want that to continue, and I think we've had a great lineup of speakers, there's several here, and, uh, you know, the long list. We're talking to Mark Bocan. We hope to bring him in. I don't know if he can make it on a Wednesday, but um, if you want to see that happen, the green stuff will at least, you know, grease it or help along. So we got a can right there, and we asked to stick a few dollars in there if you have them. If you want to just do your thing that way, that would be awesome. We also have a sign-up sheet over there somewhere. You can go to our website. We're not as organized about that as we usually are at forums. But stay tuned. We're going to have a exciting lineup in the fall. So, um, yeah, I think I covered that. Um, next up, um, I will say that the next two speakers were chosen based on the criteria. Are they or were they ever a DJ? Um, I, I have to admit, I'm a frustrated DJ. I've worked at community radio stations. I've, I've done news programs. I've done music programs. And so, of course, you have to understand that was important to me. No, it just worked out that way. But uh, I, I, I used to live in Fort Atkinson, and I used to be represented up there by the next person. And then the Republicans went in with a vengeance because I think they were shocked to see the Democrats win in that area, and they carved up his area. And I'm so pleased that it wasn't the end of his career. And on top of that, I got him back again now that I live in Milton. So, so I win, even if he's been through some unfortunate aggravation. Let's give a big hand to Representative Andy Jorgensen. <laughs> much and thank you for having me tonight this has just been good for the soul hasn't it yeah. can we give the band another big round of applause yeah. so beautiful. you started out tonight with a trivia contest or a trivia question that's what i'm going to do uh, and you start out with bottle of follett in the capital our beautiful state capital there's a bust of bottle of follett that uh, sits on the first floor of our state capital and uh, they say ever since it's been there when a governor, Republican or Democrat, has been sworn in alongside that uh, bust, uh, that's where they have uh, taken their oath of office. Can you tell me which uh, governor went to great lengths to make sure that he didn't take his, his oath of office next to that bust in our state capitol? <laughs> it's true, and it's sad. And I just, uh, my message tonight, folks, is, is a simple one. Let's stick together. Uh, we have got to stick together. This is a divide and conquer uh, regime. Today has been a bad day for me and my soul. Uh, one of my colleagues, uh, Amy Sue Verwick, I've served with her ever since I've had the pleasure and honor of serving in the uh, state capitol, is now going to change from a Democrat to go serve in the Walker administration. <laughs> this is the type of politics that uh, has become the norm in uh, our state. And today we have a park pavilion of people who know better. That we know that this isn't the way our state should look. Today I listened to one of my colleagues, her name came up today, uh, Chris Taylor. She went down and did the old Mark Cannon, Mark Hocan stint. They went down to the Alec conference. And she tells a story, and she told it on slideshow, of talking to a lobbyist down there, because these conferences are just filled with lobbyists. And, and very drunk, as she puts it, uh, state representatives. Uh, while this is going on. And she was talking to this one lobbyist and uh, talking about where he was going to go and what things he wanted to see. And he said, well, our next stop is going to be we're going to change the federal constitution. We're going to make sure that 
uh, any, uh, any uh, administrative rules that are changed have to go before Congress. And she said, you know, I don't think that the people will really go for that. And I think you're out of line on that one. That one you're going to run into some resistance. And he looked at her and he said, we don't need the people. We have the money. And look around you. We have the state representatives. We have the legislatures to do whatever we want. Now, if that isn't a wake-up call to you, I don't know what is. It's not what uh, the America I want to hand off to my children right over there. It's not the America I want to live in. It's one that we have got to desperately change in any way, shape, or form. And we have to stick together. Very quickly, I just want to let you know what I'll be working on. You know, I used to be a shop steward not too long, not too far away from here at the General Motors plant. It was some of the best years of my life, and it was a great job that I had. And this one is uh, equally as, as great as that one, uh, even more so. But uh, we have got to start making sure that we, if we're going to talk about jobs, we have got to do the things to keep those jobs. I know this is such a crackpot idea, but hear me out. How about every time we buy materials to build our bridges and our roads and any infrastructure that our taxpayer money is paying for? Here's what my bill says. It has to be spent in America. Isn't that just an outlandish uh, uh, idea? So far, we only have Democrats that are sponsoring or co-sponsoring that bill. It's very telling where we are in America, but we have got to start pushing these issues, issues that I believe uh, speak to Democrats, of course, but also there's a good portion of Republicans. Of course, we've got to spend money right here in America with our tax dollars, and it speaks to the middle, and that's how we grow, and we make this uh, group grow next year and the year after that and then we start changing things we have a new governor and a new legislature and we start changing some of the horrible things that have been done under this governor's watch but it all starts with groups like you and people like you that take time out of your busy week to be here and to listen to me drone on about what's going on up in the capitol it's not a good time in our history but that's what we have to change there's something that gives me hope in the capitol it's when i go into the governor's conference room I, I love the, I'll always go sit in the one corner, and on the ceiling it says, the will of the people will be the law of the land. Yeah. Remember that. Remember that when you're at your state capitol. <laughs> Remember that when you go to bed at night. Folks, I am so proud to be amongst you today and be with you today in sharing of this beautiful day we've been given. And uh, all I have to say is uh, solidarity. And forward and Thank you.